So I will welcome everybody uh, to this, the award ceremony for the FAVE competition, A Sense of Humanity. You are all more than welcome. I know we are at many, many different time zones. We have people from New Zealand and Australia, where it is 5 and 6 a.m. in the morning, all the way through to people on the west coast of the United States, where it's probably a similar time. So um, uh, you're all more than welcome, and many thanks to you all for being here. Um, first thing I want to do is to remind everybody that we are recording the meeting, and we will be taking some screenshots, and these will appear in the via news. At, um, and I will also ask everybody to mute yourselves. Actually, I'm going to mute everybody now, so anybody who has to speak will have to unmute themselves. So, um, again, we will welcome everybody. And Ricardo, uh, I am going to hand over to the president of FIAP, Ricardo Busi, who has a few words to say to us. Ricardo, the microphone is yours. Thanks, Paul. Dear photographer friends, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the award ceremony of this important FIAP photo contest. The Science of Humanity competitions was strongly supported by the entire FIA board of directors as a solidarity contribution to all people fleeing conflict or persecution, an initiative supported by financial contribution to the United Nations Refugees Agency. On this occasion, I'd like to thank once again, Mr. Ruben Fieres, Associate Officer of the United Nations Refugees Agency that is with us uh, this evening, whose constant support enabled us to carry out this important initiative. All this we have been able to do also thanks to you, and all this clearly and without any doubt demonstrates that FIAP is always ready to take action in the first person in full compliance with its status and the mandate received from you. With regard to our award ceremony, I will gladly give the floor to my dear friend Romin Nero, member of the FIAP board and director of the FIAP Patronage Service, but not before I have personally congratulated all the participants, awarded and admitted or not, that have made this competition unique thanks to their participation. Thank you, dear friends, and I wish you a nice ceremony. Thank you, Ricardo. Uh, thank you, everybody, to be here. I hope you had good holidays, and I'm very happy uh, to introduce now the winners. But first, I want to say a few words about our contest. As you all know, FIAP is an international nonprofit organization that is gathering presently over 150 countries in affiliated and non affiliated memberships of national federations and individual associations. FIAP has always contributed to the achievement of worldwide and intercultural projects of photography, regardless of religious, social, or political differences. Therefore, regarding current situations of what is going on in the world, the FIAP Executive Board decided to support one of the most important international agencies United Nations High Commission of Refugees, UNHCR, with an important donation. In addition to this, FIAB organized the present event and called on its participants' commitment to make their contribution to help. At this point, I want to send my deepest acknowledgement to Mr. Ruben Fierens, Associated PSP Officer of UNHCR, for his obligeness and cooperation. Ruben is uh, Mr. Fiorenz, you are with us, and uh, I wanted you to say a few words. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Nero, and, and thank you very much for all the kind words. Um, my camera is not on, but I'm for sure blushing here in the streets of Brussels. Um, I wanted to also, from my side, really congratulate you all congratulate you as an organization, but also as individuals, as members, 
and just as global citizens for your amazing contributions in these difficult times. I think we all know and we see all around us um, that times are tough. We in UNHCR see particularly that there's more people forcibly displaced than ever in Ukraine, but also in many other places in the world. And when, when you contacted me um, a few months ago, um, you very clearly specified that the contribution made was to go to the entire work of UNHCR in the 132 countries where we are active, um, the whole global world. And this was in a time shortly after um, the crisis and the war in Ukraine had just started. And I think it speaks to the testament and to the globalness um, of your organization as well, that you look out for people all over the world and that your contribution now is used to support people all over the world that were forced to flee conflict, persecution and displacement. And from the bottom of my heart, but also from the bottom of the people that we serve, I would like to deeply, deeply thank you for this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ruben. Thank you. So further, I would like to thank our judging team that was formed by three best known photographers. And this is uh, Anne Bastion from New Zealand. Hi, Anne, you are here with us. Yeah. Uh, Anne is here, but she's muted, so she can't. Yes, okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so we had the second judge was Ana Maria Robles from Argentina. I think she could not make it today. And we have finally Jill Snesby from South Africa. Uh, Jill, are you there? Jill is here, yes. Yeah, your your South Africa. Here, okay, but perhaps they can say. Hello. Yes, I am. Yeah, Thank perhaps you. Perhaps you can say a few words uh about about the judging uh how was it uh... i really enjoyed it because you know we all judge everywhere but to be able to actually judge and then get together via zoom and discuss the pictures and see our different viewpoints and the amazing quality and variety that we entered was absolutely great so I really enjoyed it. And thank you very much for inviting me to be one of your judges. Thank you, Jill. And you, you want to say also a few words? Yes, I was really amazed at the, the variety and the quality of the work. And it was very hard to distinguish or to separate um, the winners from the, from the rest, because it was all just such beautiful work. and. Everybody's put a lot of time and emotion into doing this, and it was a privilege to judge. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anne. Uh, there is an, a fourth lady. I, I think Anna Maria is not with us, but there is a fourth lady I want to, uh, to, to thank. It's um, Roser uh, Batala, which in fact uh, organized uh, the IT, the software, and was leading us through the pictures and gave us uh, the logistic background. Thank you very much, Roser. So I thank you all for the proficient work, the proficient work in choosing the best pictures from 2,286 photographs that have been entered by 333 participants from 53 different countries. The judging process started in the beginning of June and was finalized by the award designating session on the 11th of June 2022. There were 313 acceptances chosen from 1,274 pictures in the open section and 215 acceptances from 1,012 pictures for the section, what is sense of humanity? All in all, 36 awards were given across both sections. This salon was not only run by FIAP, but was conducted under FIAP patronage rules and thus the acceptances and awards can be counted for FIAP distinctions. Patronage from Luxembourg, where the legal seat of FIAP is located, was granted by its National Federation LPA. So I join my colleagues from the FIAP Executive Board to express our gratitude to all the winners, participants, and contributors. Thank you very much. We will now move on with 
the presentation of the awards and therefore I will share my screen. Okay, so you will see a short resume of we what I just, yes, thank you. You, you see it? Yeah, okay. We do, yes, thank you. Yeah, so uh, a short resume of, of what I just mentioned. Now you see uh, the beautiful pictures of our three judges of Anne Bastion, Anna Maria Robles and Gilles Snesby. And we go on to the first award that is going to Hong Kong. It's a FLPA, so an uh, award from the Luxembourg Federation. It's an honorable mention, which is going to Hong Kong for the uh, in the open section for the picture in the fishing pond. And this is going to Chan Yip Shao. Second honorable mention from the Luxembourg Federation goes to our friend Yusuf Tushar from Bangladesh with the picture against the wind. Yusuf is a fiabliaison officer for Bangladesh. I think he's with us. Uh, Yusuf, do you want to say a few words about this picture? Yusuf, you are muted. If you want to speak, you have to unmute. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Roman Nero. Uh, I am really uh, feel honored to join this uh, prestigious award ceremony. Uh, actually, this picture I have taken in 2017. You know, uh, around one million uh, Rohingya refugee people when fled from Myanmar to Bangladesh. Just on that time, I was in the border side. It means the no man's land side. When the thousands of uh, refugees is coming to Bangladesh, and it was the rainy season in Bangladesh. Sometimes they are coming in the cultivation land. Sometimes they cross in the uh, little canal. I was standing in the little canal, and uh, suddenly I saw uh, one family coming in the heavy rain, and they are also coming into the Bangladesh. At mm -hmm. this moment, I captured this picture. Thank you. Great, great shot. Congratulations, Yusuf. Thank you. Okay, coming the next picture, the next honorable mention in the open section is going to Slovenia with the picture textures from Andreja Ravniak. I think I did not see Andrea here. Wonderful composition. And we go on to the next honorable mention going to Egypt for the, with the picture Baku girl from Yasser Ala Mubarak. Congratulations for this stunning view of architecture. Yasser Ala Mubarak has joined us. He's here this evening. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, I am here. Great. Congratulations for your prize. Uh, thank you so much. I'm very happy to be with you. I'm, I'm happy to represent my country, Egypt, uh, in the contest. And I would like to thank you all for your effort and for organizing a lot of activities and competition for us to, show, to share our vision and to represent our country. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yasser. So we go on to the next honorable mention, which is going to Iran. Walking on the Lines from Zinab Mokhtari. Just checking. Actually, Zinab is not here. He's not here. Okay. So we go on to the next honorable mention in open section. A nicely colorful image going to Myanmar for the picture Beautiful Floating Market for Waitan Waiyantun. Excuse my pronunciation. Vayantun uh, is not here either. Not here? Okay. Okay, so far for the honorable mentions from the Luxembourg Federation, we come now to the FIAP honorable mentions. And here we come 
to uh, Mr. Mohammed Arfan Asif from the United Arab Emirates with his stunning picture, Autonomous You. Uh, I think Mr. Asif is with us, if I don't, if I am not wrong. Hello. Hello. Congratulations. I think this is not the only prize you get. Uh, thank you, Roman, and thank you to FIAP for organizing this very exceptional event. It's a great mm -hmm. honor to participate uh, and be involved with the FIAP activity, which is quite dear to me. And I always uh, believe that uh, this particular theme was very dear to my heart, and it is nice to be awarded in this particular competition. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you for these nice words and congratulations. We will see more of pictures of yours, you know. Okay. Thank you. So we go on to the next FIAP honorable mention, which is going to South Africa, uh, Jill. Um, South Africa, Midran Turkish Mosque. And this is uh, Mr. Leon Pelzer, who got this award. Uh, Leon, are you with us? I... No, I, I cannot see him here. Okay. So uh, Jill will pass the message to him. We have the next honorable mention going to Iran again for the picture wave and rock and a little a long exposure from Iman Yadmelat from Iran. He, Iman is not here either. Okay. And we come on to the next honorable mention in the open section, which is going again to Slovenia for the picture Tuscany 63 for Simon Kovacic. And not here. Okay. And next picture going back to Iran for the picture face to face from Sana Kamali. Congratulations. Sana Kamali is not here. Yeah. And going on the last FIAP honorable mentions, then we will go on with the medals in open section for the picture I Love My Book from Karach Ali Sabib Adlavi from Iraq. So we are coming to the FLPA medals. First FLPA bronze medal in the open section is going to Greece to Anna Marataki with a picture Resilia. So, uh, Paul, you keep an eye on. I am. She's, she's, she's not okay. here. No, Thank no. you very much. Thank you. Uh, the FLPA silver medal goes to Russia for this stunning picture, this stunning portrait of a woman with a puma or with a, a, a cat uh, fl from Vladislav Brinov from Russia. Um, I had I saw, so much, I saw some message from Russia, but it, was it Vladislav? It, it was. He is here with us. Yes. Yeah, great, Vladislav. A few words from this picture. Don't forget, Vladislav, you are muted. You have to unmute yourself. Okay. He is here at the meeting. He's logged in. Okay, maybe. Okay, maybe later. Okay. Oh. Okay, going on to the FLPO gold medal, which is going to Bahrain uh, for this picture from Sausan Tahir. And the picture is named Student Look. Great black and white shot. Actually, Sausan Tahir is not, not with here. us. Uh, okay, good so, good oh, hello. Yes, hi, good evening. Uh, this is Sausan from Bahrain. Uh, ah, good to have you here. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be with you all. 
I'd like to thank uh, FIAP for uh, organizing uh, this competition and of course this award ceremony. Uh, this photo uh, is a very uh, dear photo to and close to my heart. Uh, it was taken back in 2018 uh, during one of my trips to uh, a remote area, which is called Random. It's in uh, it's in uh, India towards um, uh, something like on borders. It's uh, it's an area uh, a, a village which is uh, mainly for Buddhism mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's very difficult to reach them. Usually, they're just uh, they, they, the roads are usually closed because of the heavy snow. So we were lucky to be there during summer for a few days. And this was a, such a small school, which is part of the uh, uh, temple, which uh, they build. And usually, they depend on help from tourism that they pass by uh, during summer holidays. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you, Sausan, for this uh, comment on this picture. Thank you for sharing us with us, with us, and uh, you know it was worth it. And uh, congratulations again. Thank, Thank you. you very much. So we're going on to the Fiat medals, starting with the Fiat bronze, which is going to India, with the picture cohort, and uh, it is going to Rinal Sen. Uh, we, we that person's not here with us either, Roman. Okay, so we're going on to the FIAP silver medal, going to Russia for the picture Harvest, and it's going to Karin Ipekjan. Yes, I am here. Good to have you here. Good evening. Karin. A few words for this stunning picture. Uh, I don't understand, I don't uh, speak English uh, ah. well. Uh, I'm very glad uh, he, uh, very glad to I yeah don't, I don't uh, speak English no problem <laughs> no, no no problem Karin so congratulations thank you very much thank you very congratulations much. to thank you thank you very much good no problem so we go on to the FIAP gold medal which is also going to Russia uh, with this portrait windy girl 2020 and it's going to Ivan Kovalev. So Ivan is here. Don't forget, Ivan, to unmute yourself if you want to speak. Hello, Ivan. Uh, hello. I'm glad to see everyone. I'm sorry, I don't speak English. And just say thank you very much for appraising my vote. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you for participating and congratulations for this picture. Thank you. Thank you. Good. So we're going, we're switching to section two. Section two was where the subject was, what is sense of humanity? And uh, here we see now the awarded picture of this section. And the first honorable mention, LPA mention, is going to Osgur Segmen. I think Osgur is with us. He's from yes. Turkey and he got this award for his picture, Veda. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, this was, uh, this photo was a, a kidney uh, transport and this, uh, these people are uh, father and sister. Uh, they were going to operation and uh, it's uh, COVID time, and the last uh, last they saw each other to go to the operation, and I photographed this. That's all for the photo. Okay. Um, Good. I thank to everyone for everyone for this organization. It's a nice. I am happy to be here with you. Thank you, Osgo, for these nice words and. We keep keep uh, be with us for the next picture too because we you got an, a second honorable mention uh, for yes. this uh, for this picture Iyak too. Yes, uh, this was the uh, old woman and uh, she was giving uh, her to medicine and also water mm -hmm. for uh, for her and all that's so all I photographed. Thank you, thank you, Oscar, for these comments. 
and we will go on in our palmares and coming to another honorable mention in this section, which is going to Vietnam for the picture elderly friends, Gok An Bach got this award. Gok An Bach is with us. Yeah. Don't Contact. forget you you need to unmute yourself if you if you want to speak. Okay, perhaps later. We go on to the next award, which is going again to Turkey for the picture Love at Any Age for Fisun Arabakci. I don't think Fisun Arabakci is here. Yeah. This uh, nice picture from this nice figo. With the next one, uh, with a little bit more, uh, more uh, serious um, matter, it's going to India for the picture home care from Sanjoy Patasharia. Sanjoy is, is not here either. Okay. Then the last FLPA honorable mention is going to Iran for the picture touch from Ali. Maginia Terry. Not, not here either. Good. So, coming the FIAP honorable mentions. The first one going to Vietnam to Hai Vu for his picture, Kam Chua Ben, COVID 19. Not here. Then the next honorable mention going to Turkey, uh, to Sevim Fidan. Please, Sevim Fidan is not here. Okay, sorry, a little fast. And coming to, to the first FIAP honorable mention, going to Oscar segment from Turkey, Elele. So Oscar was already yes, talking. Hi again. Hi <laughs> again, yes. Yes, uh, this was a, a triathlon, and uh, the boys are swam, and after that they was they was uh, running, and they uh, they was hands in hands. Mm -hmm. Then I took their photo. Mm -hmm. uh, it was I'm a, I'm a, uh, I was lucky, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's great. a good time for this photo. A great moment that you catched very properly. Thank you, Osgur. Thank you. Okay, next mention going to China. Have deep feelings is the name of this picture, and it's coming from Yi Chi Wang. Uh, Yi Chi Wang is not with us this evening. Okay. Next honorable mention going to Spain for the picture. Don't worry, I'm here from Luis Jose Vigil Scalera Quintanal. I think Luis is here. Okay. So before going now, I think there is another mention. Yes, we have one more FIAP honorable mention going to Iran for the picture of burnt hearts from Amir Badrazimi. Is, is not here. It's not here. So before going on to the to the final to the to the medals, I just wanted to say that we had uh, some countries where a lot of people were participating. First country was India, where ninety one people participated. Second was Iran, where we had forty and one people participating. On third place there was Russia, with nineteen, and on fourth place Turkey, with 16 people. So going on to the first LPA bronze medal that is going to India for the picture after Holy Bath from Santanu Chandra. 
I think Santander Chandra is, is not here. Okay, going on to the FLPA silver medal in the section, what is sense of humanity, which is going to Alta Osthuizen from South Africa for the picture, I brought you some water. And not here. Okay, and finally the FLPA gold medal going to Kazakhstan for the picture rainy jubilee for Valerie Korinchuk. And not here. Okay, coming to the FIAP medals, the FIAP bronze medal going to Ting Ming Law from Hong Kong for the picture care. Not here. Fiap silver medal for this colorful picture from India. True friendship from Dick uh, Dibakar Roy. Uh, Dibakar Roy is, is not here either. Okay. And then the gold medal, the Fiap gold medal for this stunning black and white picture. Uh, from Bangladesh, again, Yusuf Tushar with his picture, Kids on Basket. Yusuf, uh, was his picture taken at the same uh, location than the previous one? Uh, uh, yes, uh, I'm here. Uh, thank you, Roman. Uh, this picture uh, I have also taken in the same time in 2017, mm -hmm. when thousands of Rohingya Refugees flee to Bangladesh from Myanmar. Mm -hmm. This is a enormous land zone. They are also uh, these people is uh, walking 15 to 20 kilometers. So the man carry uh, his two his babies because they cannot walk. And uh, behind you see that it's a long queue. Many uh, the refugees taking their belongs with this. It's a very pathetic and hard also for me when I'm capturing this picture. It's not so easy for me in this time. It was also from the city to, I have also walked around uh, 15 kilometers. And uh, uh, two days I was also sleeping in the border site. Uh, uh, before you also see my, this is stories, uh, I think. Uh, so today I'm very much grateful and happy, so much happy. Uh, thank you, uh, FIAP and UNHCR and also FLPA and special thanks to my judges friends and uh, Romain Nero, Ricardo Busi, president of FIAP. Thanks to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Yusuf. Thank you. A stunning picture, yeah. a great picture, a wonderful picture and uh, an authentic picture. So it's uh, really congratulations for this really merited FIAP gold medal. So we have one more prize to give, and this prize is going to the best author. The best author of the context, contest is the author that had uh, the maximum number of acceptances in this contest. And this uh, blue pin, this uh, FIA best author blue pin is going to Mohammed Afan Asif. We have already saw a picture from him before, and he is getting this award because he convinced the judges to have a maximum of pictures accepted in this contest. So we see now these pictures as if, if you want to say again a few words. Hello, Roman, I'm here. Yep. Um, actually, my set of pictures uh, for the theme of humanity, it uh, was taken during the holy month of Ramadan. Now the objective of my images is to reflect the essence of humanity through the concepts of generosity and service, uh, which is integral to humanity portrayed at these particular times. It was an emotional sight for me to see this. The only different thing that I did was that I climbed up a minaret with a lot of risk because it was not very, very safe. And mm -hmm. from the minaret, I tried to take a different perspective from the, the images that I have shot earlier. Mm -hmm. So I think that was one of the important differences. Yeah. Great. I thank Great. the FIAP board and the officials of the contest, as well as the jury uh, for liking my images. And it's a great honor and it, an important milestone in my 37 years of photography. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you for sharing your picture with us and giving these uh, useful 
comments. Um, I now come to the end of, of the presentation uh, and I want again to congratulate all uh, the award winners for their prizes. Uh, great pictures they sent in. Thank you again to the judges. And I give the word back to Paul. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Paul, it's you. It's on you. Thank you. Thank you, Roman. Merci beaucoup. And thank you to everybody for being here this evening. Um, I think we all agree that we have seen some fantastic images, and we send big congratulations to everybody who um, had awards and acceptances uh, in, in this competition. Um, I'm still conscious of the time and the fact that everybody is calling from different places around the world, so uh, we won't stay much longer. But if anybody wants to unmute themselves, if they have any special messages to say to us, um, please do so. And uh, otherwise, I, I see here now, Roman, that Gach and Bach says that they do not have a microphone, um, but um, they're sending thanks to everybody who are involved. Uh, they're explaining that the photograph they took was taken at Nha Trang Beach in Vietnam. Friendship enriches the lives of the elderly. They can swim together, swim and exercise and sunbathe in the morning, or eat breakfast together, drinking tea, listening to music, playing chess, chatting, providing, singing, drawing, writing. Elderly people often get sick, their health is declining, so they need to take medicine for treatment and to promote health. An old age friendship is an extremely valuable spiritual medicine to help the elderly live a happy, healthy life and to be useful to society. I also see here that Fadi Slavinov did send in a message to us apologizing that he does not have a microphone, so he wasn't able to speak, but it was still marvelous that he was able to join us. So thank you, everybody. And um, I think we have come to the end of this evening's presentation. And I would wish you all well for the remainder of your day. And congratulations to all of the people who have been involved. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.